in football, you got to have these two guys here. The guy on the left is called the center. The center stands in the socket between the quarterback and the enemy. He watches the referee put the ball down in front of him. He grabs the ball. He listens. He snaps the ball, too. To who? To the guy behind him. Who? Now handles the ball. These two guys are critical to the game of football. They are also critical to Python web servers. In football, he is called the center. But in Python, he is called the base HTTP server. Base HTTP server makes a socket. Base HTTP server now stands by that socket. Base HTTP server waits, listens. Then suddenly he hears the ref put the ball in front of him. That football is a request, a simple HTTP request. That football right there. He grabs the request. Quickly, he snaps that request off to the simple HTTP request handler, who is right behind him. Simple HTTP request handler now handles the request. Base HTTP server. Simple. HTTP request handler. Ah, that's too hard. Let's call him a server. Let's call him handler. Here's how. You'll key in code that's something like this. Server equals base HTTP server dot HTTP server. you got to put in the guy's full name. And you don't have to say server. You can put SRVR, which is what I usually do. And then handler equals simple HTTP request handler. That's this guy who handles the requests. You don't have to put in the word handler. You can put in HND. That's what I usually do. Now, let's look at the code. And simultaneously keep these guys up on the screen. First thing I do is I import sys. Then I import the base HTTP server. That's this guy here. Then I import the simple HTTP request handler. That's this guy here. But I say, I have to say where I get him from. From simple HTTP server import simple HTTP request handler. you got to get this guy and say where he came from. Okie dokie, that's all right. Now, we're going to make our life easier. Base HTTP server dot HTTP server, this guy here. I'm assigning you to this variable name, SRVR. <sighs> because typing this is too difficult. Then the next one. Simple HTTP request handler. I'm assigning you to this variable, HND, because this is just too long to keep writing out all the time. I can't do it. All right, so I gave them short names. Server, SRVR, and HND handler. Now, the protocol, the rules they're going to use 
when they're transferring data back and forth between each other, the requests. It's called HTTP slash 1.0. I have to, I have to state that. Now, if sysargv1, if there's something in sysargv1, then take what is ever is in sysargv1, turn it into integer, and assign it to the variable port. So the person may want to use port 8080, or 8060, or 8000, or 8010, something like that. Else, if it's empty, else, default port 8000. Oh, one more thing, the server address. We'll make a variable called server address. It's 127.0.0.1. And the port is whatever got assigned, whatever number got assigned to these guys. 8000 by default, or 8080, whatever the person keyed in. All right, now, the last few lines. Now, you know that protocol we mentioned a moment ago? HTTP 1.0. Yeah, the rules. The rules of transferring requests. Yeah, 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 yeah. Handler, that's this guy here. Your protocol version is that. Okay, thank you very much. Now, server, that's this guy here. Server, yeah. I want you to take your server address, which is 127.0.0.1, and the port. Server, yes. Take your server address. Yes. And you know that handler who's standing right behind you? Yeah. Put it into the letter H so that I can refer to the two of you at the same time using H. Okay. I'll do that. All right. Now, print out on the screen the server's running now. Okay. But it isn't running right now. Well, well now here comes the order. H, that means the two of you guys. Yeah. Start serving forever. Okie dokie. He grabs a request, hands it to him, he handles it. He gets another request, hands it to him, he handles it. He gets another request, hands it to him, he handles it. Keeps going on and on and on forever until I control and break my way out of this program. Wow. Okay. It's time to see this program in action. PWS1.py, and I'm going to use... Uh, yeah, that's a good that's a good port, 8080. And I hit enter. And it says, oh look, the server is running now. And I come over to here. I click in the address bar. I key in 127.0.0.1. Put in a colon, a colon, and now the port I'm going to use, 808. Zero. That's a good one. Now, if this all works, it'll go into this directory, look for index.html, and load it right in. Let's see if it works. I hit another. Bam! It worked. Wow, that's amazing. Now I go over to here. We can't slash lec2.html. I have another HTML file over here. We'll hand him another request, see if he does it. Oh! He does it. Calculus Lecture 2. Wow. That was amazing. Okie dokie. Let's click over here. Control break. Clear up the screen. And that's all I have to say for now. This is George Bull. Bye-bye.